Now, there are a number of ways to present this. It is often done, and it's interesting you mentioned the magician always using the magic wand and eye fixation, which is really a fundamental principle of hypnosis for a nonverbal hypnotic induction prior to any levitation. I generally think that that's a fantastic way of doing it for the hypnotist as well. I have seen many hypnotists do essentially a nonverbal induction towards the full body catalepsy and using music in the background. Uh, in fact, music really helps. And you were saying, what, what was the guy using? I think that uh, when, when I first saw it, he was actually using Pink Floyd. Now, Andre Cole uh, did a levitation at the completion of his show back in the 1980s, and he used very powerful music. I saw that show 30 years ago and his use of music in directing attention and creating trance within the audience uh, in, in their focused concentration is something I still remember 30 years later. So nonverbal hypnotic inductions can be very powerful. Now we're set up here in... Yeah, also using props like a crystal or a mirror ball on a string that's Absolutely. spinning in front of the eyes, the, you know, a mirror ball or sure. even the old watch, anything that gives a little bit of mystical import to the trans induction. And it's not only for the audience as well using those props. Eye fixation is, of course, one of the fundamental tenets of how we bring somebody into a legitimate hypnotic state. Now, we're here in your studio, and uh, we don't have music going on, and so I'm going to actually use a verbal induction. Well, welcome. Thank you for participating in this with us. Uh, have you ever experienced hypnosis before? No. No, great. I love working with people who are about to learn something new, something fantastic, and about how to utilize the power of the mind to achieve really almost anything.